What's up guys, we're here back again with another Division 2 build video, welcome back. Today's build, this is my wackiest, craziest, most wonderful build yet. This build I've been using in most difficult content. We're talking Legendaries, Summit, Heroics, it's fun. This is a team synergized build, do not use this solo, you really won't see much benefit. Um, this is wacky beyond wacky, off meta beyond off meta. Now, given we've got a year of recycled content pretty much, it's time that I thought, let's screw it. Let's look at each skill variant and see if I can extract the goodness from each one and put a build together which kind of centers around that skill. This build does that a plenty. You have infinite cooldowns on this build, just non-stop heals from the traps. It's crazy. It is. And if agents know what the repair trap does, and you've checked the video, some people don't, then you know what to do. You're going to have those heals all day long, which means you're going to be buffed up. And that means more skills, more often your teammates are going to love you. Simple. Now, with this build, this is fun personified, guys. Don't expect to solo anything. Don't expect to go, yeah, I'm the MVP. It doesn't work like that. Not like that at all. It's a fun build to use that you walk away thinking, this is a blast, it really is. So guys, if you enjoy this build, you enjoy the video, you know what to do, thumbs doodle, it truly helps the channel out. And if you're new to the channel, drop the woo bomb on the sub button, ding the bell to be notified when I upload my content. Let's move this. Guys, here's the build. This is my repair trap build for PVE content. Trust me, it's so much fun. Let's go through this. We'll start with specialization, technician, guys, I cannot see past that spec. The reason being, skill damage 10%. It'll weigh much more than skill healing on this. Trust me, go skill damage, you'll get more from it. Then we'll look at the passive skill tier. And the way I've built this is around armor regen. So it's quite obvious. You need that survivability. So what I've done, I've spec'd into armor on this build to keep me alive in the game, to keep my friends, my allies buffed, and keep them that armor replenished. And they're in a good place to be just romping home at the races, getting the kills. That's what it's all about. So that extra survivability is key. I am zero offensive, one defensive, five utility. And then we look at the armor. I'm 913k armor, three, two, four point seven k health. And guys, yes, six skill tiers. Let's go for the build. We'll start with the mask. You, you always start with the mask. Go. This mask is a nice one. It is really nice. It is armor max. And that's because I'm using the Bellstone Armory. Bellstone Armory, really nice brand set to use on this build because of that 1% armor regeneration. And that 1% on 913k is 9.13k, which is nice. Attributes, skill damage, skill haste, repair skills, utility mod of 19.7%. Now, if I could change this, what I would do is I'd replace the skill haste and put more armor region on there. That's more survivability, simples. Maybe a bit of hazard protection, maybe, but still, I think armor region would be better on this setup by far. Now, the second high end is the knee pads. And the knee pads, they are wide and wear with that 10% skill damage. Guys, it's just integral to get one piece wide and wear because that skill damage is great because you get the brand set bonus and you get 10% on the attribute. There's 20% skill damage in one piece. And then you have armor regen, guys. Yeah, this is a god sausage roll piece. The armor regen is beautiful. It is, guys. So we have 5k on there. We have 9k on the armor. So that is 14k from the mask and the knee pads. And that's great. Now we have the rigor gear set. What's that all about? So breaking it down, we have 50% skill haste. The free piece is 15% skill duration. The four piece is tend and befriend. Interacting with your deployed skills grants the skill 25% skill damage for 10 seconds. This buff cannot be refreshed. Interactions include using or deploying the skill, changing the skill's target, and healing the skill. I will demonstrate shortly. Attributes, skill damage. All the way, guys, skill damage, that's what you need. Holster, guys, very simply, guys. It's exactly the same. The song remains the same throughout this. Skill damage. Go for that. You don't need armor regen. No skill haste. No status effects. Skill damage. That's going to get you the most on this build. Chest piece is, again, rigor gear set. Now, one skill tier, obviously. It's got to be, got to be a skill tier. Skill damage of 10%. Repair skills, 19.7% utility mod. It's, cool. it's nice. The talent is best buds. Increase the damage buff from 25 to 50%, tend to be friends. Every, again, every 10 seconds, pretty much, what it's going to be is you're going to get that buff. 
50% damage for your skills. And that's great. And that is absolutely awesome because, again, that skill damage buff is great. And that's why I say every 10 seconds, you can get this consistently up all the time because you're just spamming one skill variant. And I'll demonstrate shortly how it works. But yeah, that extra 50% damage is quite beautiful in all fairness. Now, the backpack is the last piece of the rigor gear set and it is skill damage as max and 19.5% repair skills. Complete uptime. Cancelling your skills will reset your cooldown. You need to be friends. So you need the four piece bonus, which is fine. We have that. We're using the ch chest piece as well, which is good for the extra buffer damage. And then we have, yeah, you guessed it, tend to be friend, complete uptime. This is nice. Let's show you how this works. Okay, guys, I'm just outside the boot. I'm just here. Um, I'm just going to pop a skill. Let me just pop that skill just here. That's the Assultery, yeah? I'm going to pop that bad boy there. You can see the Kinetic Momentum buff, which just popped up there. That initiate again, that is the Rigor bonus. It's that 10% bonus is there. And you can see it's consistently up, and that's great. What we need to do is pop our Repair Trap just here. And then we're going to use a bit of this. You can see where now that, there's the buff. Use a bit of these, and what I'm going to do is dismantle back again let's deploy let's dismantle so guys one more time let's deploy and let's get some of these let's stock them up and let's dismantle let's take them all and we're back again so with that I've used all the traps used all the traps for me and I can still cancel it just like this. Look, just spam all these. And let's cancel it. There you go, it's back again. So, guys, this is so simple. So you can again, you just spam this down. Get your heals, get your heals for your teammates. Get your teammates running through these traps. Once they do that, again, dismantle. It's back again. Consistent, guys, consistent. That's what I'm talking about. How many times can you just keep buffing that and have the extra damage and again, have that extra bit of healing for all your teammates? You've seen, guys, there's no cooldown. There's none. See, 28 seconds, but you're just spamming this. Yep, there you go. I'm healed up now. Let's just spam this and there you go, back again. Now, let me just do this. Let's go for the skills and after the skills, we're going to go back into the range and I'll demonstrate how it works again. So skills, guys, the repair trap, you can see there, 29.2 second cooldown, uh, 616k repair. And you know, guys, that's a huge heal. That is a huge heal. That is per trap. Per trap. It's crazy. But it works. It works a sweet treat. So in terms of the mods, guys, I don't have any, or I don't know if there are any. I've never, ever, ever come across anything other than duration or shock radius on the, the repair trap or the shock trap i've never seen anything different so that's all that i have is duration but again trust me you do not worry once we get into the range i'll demonstrate having no heals and then a nice heal from one of these it's beautiful so my primary skill is the assault turret 17 second cooldown that's fine that's fine so again i'm going to just sh show you this look i'm i'm going to deploy this now there's my salt turret. It's been shooting, rooting, tooting. Let's dismantle it. Oh, look, no cooldown. Let's try it again. Let's just put it there. Oh, he's missed, he's missed the line. Damn, I'm not happy with that. Let's dismantle him and start again. Oh, look, no cooldown. Again, this is what you have. Is that no cooldown. So skill haste is not a thing on this. Don't have skill haste. Um, just make sure you spec into other areas that might benefit your skills. See, guys, again... No cooldown. What we'll do now is just go into the weapons category, then we'll look in the range. Weapons capacitor. It, it's for me, it has to be. There are different options. Again, you could go for something that's going to give you a bit more heal back. Guys, you don't need it. Don't worry about it. You could go down the route of a mechanical animal for the overcharge. You can go down the fact you could have the pestilence, the Scorpio, whatever. Guys, whatever. I've opted for the capacitor. I feel this is one of the best weapons in the game now, and especially with skill builds. This is your go-to. Get it on. 
So with this guy, as you can see, capacitance, shooting enemies, build stacks to the cap of 40. Each stack grants 1.5% skill damage after 5 seconds, and it decays 1 per second. So that's 60% skill damage extra on your salt turret. And then we have each uh, skill tier gain, 7.5% weapon damage. So yeah, that's an extra 45% weapon damage on your skills. So on your, on your weapons, obviously, your capacitor. Yeah, so you're getting that extra 45% weapon damage, 60% skill damage. Why the hell would you not use it? Simple. Crit chance, rounds, crit damage, and weapon handling. Secondary, again, is simply the harmony. Um, I only use this if I run out of ammo. Very simple. Um, you can see, guys, it's all about perfectly in sync. Hitting an enemy grants 20% skill damage for 5 seconds. Using a skill or damaging an enemy with a skill grants 20% weapon damage for 5 seconds. Damage increases are double where both buffs are active at the same time. Again, a nice, nice secondary to have in your armory. Crit chance rounds, crit chance, and critical damage. And again, guys, you know me by now. This is just there because it's there. Don't worry. But again, it does have in sync on, which is nice for the extra potential 30% skill damage and weapon damage. Mods are headshot damage, rounds, crit chance, and more critical hit chance. Let's go through the stats, and then we'll look at the build in action in the range. Again, this doesn't differ from any other build, any skill build they do in terms of weapon damage. It's very simple. A little bit of crit chance, 75% crit damage, a little bit of headshot damage. Um, it, it's, it got, it's irrelevant, really. And the reason I say that is because your assault turret's doing the work, and what you're spending more time... Again, focusing on keeping people alive, spamming those repair traps, using the assault turret to push, push out some DPS. Then you can push that out using the capacitor as well. It's all about knowing your surroundings on this build. You are keeping people alive and also dealing some damage. So it's nice to have, again, one eye everywhere. And that, that's, it, it's good because it keeps your mind active, I find, on this build. Rather than the lazy boy, salt turret, strike a drone, sit back and cover, open a beer and just chug away doesn't work like this build this build is all about being active proactive in the battlefield um, and spamming heals for days so don't worry too much about the weapon stats because they are what they are on any skill build to be fair around around this point um we'll look again armor regeneration is 14k and that's brilliant again if you can get an extra piece on there which would be armor regen on your mask as an example then you'll you push in 19k armor regen which is pretty tasty on a build like this Let's go into the range, guys, and I'll show you um, how the traps can get you recovered. Guys, back in the range, same build. Let's just check it out. This is the build, obviously, what we've been talking about. Um, now, let's just check this in the range. Let's check those sexy repair traps. Firstly, let's just um, get that skill haste on, and let's just get damaged. Yeah, guys, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Immediate yeah, there you go. There you go. Needed. Right, so, guys, how does this work? How does this repair trap work? Let's get some heals. Right, there's, there's, a, there's a trap here. Yeah, let's get this trap. Now you can see that that's a nice buff. The beautiful buff. I like that. I generally do. I do, guys. I think that's a really nice buff of heal. You know? And again, we're in the range. That has automatically done that. Okay, we, we get it. So let's just pop that bad boy. Damage-wise, and you can see there, 140k looking at damage as a base which is decent um let's just pick that up um let's just drop this down again just here and the popper there Serious trauma detected. you see there guys that will get about 70 percent of your armor back in one go up it's about 75 70 75 percent three quarters your armor back in one in one trap when we have a full capacitance let's have a look and that's what we're looking at and this is again the nice consistency this build offers and again let me just dismantle that and it's back again no cooldown, done, spam it again, happy days. This is what the build does. This is what it offers. And again, that's back. So your turret, no cooldown. Your pair trap, no cooldown. That's what makes this a beautiful build. Again, this is something I would seriously consider using in legendary content, heroic content, for shits and giggles, guys. It is so much fun. 
Let me know what you think in the comments section. Again, this is not a meta build. This is not something that's going to take the world by storm. This is a build that is highly viable, gives nice heals. You've seen the heals. That repairs 70 to 75% of my armor in one trap. Teammates, that's going to give them a big, huge buff. And of course, you've got the turret with no cooldown as well. So you get so much from this build. It's crazy. Guys, I highly recommend you put it together. Let me know what you think in the comments section. And as always, peace.